day two at Slimbridge as artisan residence and this is the view that I've chosen for today. You can see it's quite far reaching. It's actually, you can see, it's part of the canoe setup that they have here, um, which is brilliant fun. I remember doing it with Ollie when he was little, actually. Um, the beauty with being here is that I've also got, I don't know if you can see, it's really hard. Ah, there you go. See with my iPad. Um, there's that view down there, which is actually quite nice because it's sort of leading off into the distance and I might choose to do something with one of my smaller boards with that. But I'm actually also right beside the children's play area, <laughs> um, which again, I frequented when my son was much, much younger. And today I'm not so far away from coffee, which I needed by the end of yesterday. Just trying to capture the light on the water. There's actually quite a lot of masking fluid on here. Um, so it's quite a lot of these marks that will go. So I've been able to go much, much darker and be a bit braver because I know that I've got lots of the light captured already and hidden under the masking fluid. I've got some really lovely loose marks up here. I do like this. I'm scared of losing it. Um, but I want to keep that quite undefined. So you just about see the composition starting to come together. Very dark. I've had a really good morning. I've spoken to a lot of people today, actually. It's my lovely view. Um, I've spoken to a lot of people today. I've had some nice chats and it's just nice, really, for people to take an interest and be interested in the painting process and actually how difficult it can be. Um, one of the things that, that I've been talking about quite a lot today is the fact that I was sent an excerpt from um, Sarah, who's my point of contact here, who works here, that was from Sir Peter Scott, and it's a book that he wrote so much more self-conscious about like people will get past me looking at me. Um, it's from a book that he wrote and it was an excerpt and it was talking about how he would paint and paint and paint and paint furiously into the night and he would paint until it was dark and all the colours were dark and he wasn't sure what he was doing but he had to just keep going and then he'd get up in the morning all excited and come down in his pyjamas and discover all the colours were wrong. Um, which I can completely understand. And he was also talking about the fact that he would paint in his sleep. So I quite often wake up painting um, and think I've painted something and actually I haven't. So I've got to go down to the studio and do it and I'm not sure whether I could do it and then you can't. And he was talking about all those frustrations and it's amazing how all those creative frustrations completely transcend time because it's like he was in my head talking about me and the way that I think and that creative process is just it's something that you can't you can't whenever what you do you can't navigate it it's not something you can navigate around it's only something that you can accept you've got to accept the frustration you've got to accept the fact that you get to this point in the painting and you really quite like the painting but you have absolutely no idea what to do with the painting and you need to you need to give it a break you need to give it a rest and give it an opportunity to um, settle in your head so you can decide what to do with it next if that makes any sense at all so What's been really nice has been is actually been talking to visitors about that um, and talking to them about the creative process because they're really interested. They don't think that you're just painting a picture. 
they understand that it's more than that. And just watch it, the more hens, they're my friends. They're the ones that come and speak to you and uh, come and look at what you're doing. The geese just sort of parade around and tell you, try and tell you who's boss, and but more hens come and have a chat. All the other birds stay away. So it's time to pack up um, and go back to the centre and get ready for the workshop tomorrow. So I hope my rambling has made some sense. And uh, I'll do some more filming, possibly of the workshop actually, but definitely with the results from the workshop. And then the next couple of days I should be painting again. Um, so I'll do some more filming then. So I'll see you then. <laughs>